Brett Okamoto with UFC President Dana White. We're immediately after UFC 229, a brilliant lightweight title fight between Habib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. Habib choking him out in the fourth round. But the story real quickly right now is what happened immediately after the fight. So just give me your perspective. You're sitting there watching it. What unfolded as far as you could tell? One of Conor's guys was talking smack to, um, to uh, Habib. And Habib just ran and dove over the octagon and went after him. While that was happening, two of Habib's guys jump over the octagon and go after Connor. So uh, what happens now? I mean, it, you have a melee, you have two melees basically going on. Outside. Break us down, what, what are the next steps here? Yeah, listen, the, the commission is holding both checks. The Nevada State Athletic Commission is holding both their checks. Um, you know, we're, we're turning over film to the Nevada State Athletic Commission right now. They're gonna watch the camera. I mean, this is, this is a big deal could be suspension for Habib. Um, you know, are these guys going to get visas again to get back in the country? Uh, you know, big fines. That's why they're holding their purses. Um, it's a big deal. How do you feel about Habib, his actions, just him? Well, he, that, that was how it's listened. Con Connor's corner man, uh, you know, got this thing going. Habib diving over was ridiculous. I mean, you just won a, a great fight. Uh, you fought brilliantly. You're about to get the belt on, and, and people are going to respect the fact that you, you know, you fought well and you won the fight. But instead, you dive over the the cage and s start this huge melee with Connor's corner. Um, I I actually didn't allow him to get the belt put on because I knew what was going to happen when we did it. People were going to start throwing whatever they had down into the octagon. So I said, let's just get him out of here. We'll have Buffer announce it, and then sure enough, as soon as they started going through the tunnel exactly what I knew was going to happen. I was like, we'll be lucky enough just to get him out of here without the belt. <clears throat> so uh, it's bad. There's going to be an investigation by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and, uh, and uh, there's going to be big money fines, and these guys are in big trouble. Where are these guys right now? Who? Habib and Connor. Are they in the locker Connor, rooms? Or? Connor's in his locker room with his family and his, and his friends. And uh, I, I don't know where Habib is, but three of his guys have been arrested. Did you speak to Connor? I did. What did he say, what do you say about it? He's like, I don't care about any of this. He says, this doesn't matter to me at all. That's whatever. He says, you know, obviously he's upset about losing the fight. I know that we got to see what the commission says, what, what the Metro police have to say about this. But as the president of the UFC, do you feel like, like what, what is what is going to happen to Habib, his title? What do you yeah. think is an appropriate punishment? I here? don't know. We need, we need to see what happens here. Again, we need to see how this plays out. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody should ever do that. You know? And then the other guy's jumping in and start going after Connor. The guy just fought four hard rounds, and you guys are going to jump in fresh and try to, you know, it's just, it's bad. It's all bad. We were talking about this fight as the biggest fight that the UFC has ever put on, and then this happens with that magnitude of an audience watching it. Is this a bad night for the UFC, for the sport? It's a very bad night. <clears throat> yeah. How bad? Pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, super duper, really super bad. I mean, the worst. It's bad. Well, what did you think of the fight itself before all the post-fight antics happened? It was a great fight. I thought, you know, the first round, Connor did a really good job of defending. Normally, when Habib takes you down, <clears throat> gets you in that position, he smashes you, you know? You saw that later on when, when uh, Connor got tired from, from the wrestling. But, yeah, I thought it was a great fight. I thought both guys fought a great fight. Um, right up until the end. Last question, if uh, looking back on it now, in hindsight, is always twenty twenty. but you knew how these guys felt about each other. Is this preventable? Could you have done anything to, to prevent something like this from happening? We did. Yeah, we did. We did everything to prevent this from happening. Did you see the amount of security and Metro police that were here tonight? It was crazy, but still happened. Thanks, Dana. Thanks.